Uh, yeah, I understand it though. You know, getting getting some other guys some reps that didn't get as many during uh, during spring, giving them the chance to play in front of the big crowd. And because when I was uh, my freshman year coming in, I got to do that. That was it was really fun. So I understand. Uh, you know, I understand the precaution and what they were doing with it. Coach Meyer says he feels good about you. He feels good about Pat. He says the other three jobs are, are, up, are up for grabs. He says he's a little concerned about the O-line as a whole. Just to kind of break it down. I'm sure you guys aren't that concerned, but how do you feel about the O-line coming out of spring? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been saying all along, like, the guys are just inex inexperienced. And with O-line, it takes a long time to develop. Uh, more so than any other position. So it's just going to take time to develop that chemistry because for the past two seasons, we didn't really have much of a difference in the rotation and who was in there. And, um, you know, just de developing that confidence and staying true to your technique uh, when things get hard is, uh, is what guys are going to have to do. So, um, you know, I think we'll be fine. Uh, coach Warner is going to, he's a great coach. You know, we'll get it done and a lot of work to do this offseason, though. Um, and it's just our, our whole program is just, just a tough program and through our workouts and our conditioning and everything it just develops it develops uh, cohesiveness within your units and it, it just allows guys to develop mental toughness because you know nothing we go through is going to be easy and you know it's going to be hot and you know it's just it's just an opportunity to get better uh, both mentally and physically. We try to we try to get in there every day, every day after our workouts. You know, guys that have you know if they have class, they gotta go. But we'll try to get in there every day because there's so many different scenarios you can get for one specific play. So, you know, especially the younger guys, they're gonna be coming in the freshmen in June. Um, you know, you just gotta get them up to speed because, you know, you're not you're not gonna be able to play full speed 100% unless you know what's going on and you're able to process it. Talk about the center position. Jacoby's in, he's incredibly smart, one of the smartest guys on the team, um, and he just has a great understanding for the offense, and he he's just he's really solid at everything. You know, he, you can I think you can rely on him. You know, he know like I said, he knows the offense really well, and Billy is just an athletic freak. You know, he's he's come in. Uh, since last year and he's just wowed people with his athletic ability his strength and he's got a ton of potential and I just think it's uh, like I said with offensive line you just need more time to develop and um, I think once he gets his confidence up because I mean he, he can do some great things I think he'll be a good player. I think they've improved a lot um, Tony especially coming off that ACL because he was coming on strong last spring and um, you know, I think I think he's doing a good job, and you know, he's he's just developing that edge to himself. You know, going out there and playing with a little edge to him. And then um, Daryl, just like uh, just like Billy, he's just a freak athletically. He can run. He's strong. And um, I just think for him, he's just got to develop a little bit more of a voice because he's a m little bit more reserved guy, but he can do it all. So he just needs to uh, you know develop that confidence that he can go out there and assert himself.